So hi guys, here we start another small scale project and as you can see this time it will be something interesting. So this is a fresh release from IBG models and this is so called Kara Commander in uh, 170 second scale. So it should be quite a tiny kit. We recently made a review of this plastic so you can find it easily on our YouTube channel. But today we will be actually building this kit and it will be uh, I would say somewhat unusual to see such a tiny vehicle assembled. So for me it is interesting to check how it actually works together and I suggest we open the box and see what is inside again. So as a small reminder you can see that all parts were packed into this uh, Ziploc bags so they arrived intact because there is plenty of space and the first steps they will be actually connected to the drivetrain so let me show you the assembly manual. So here you can see the first steps this is a drivetrain and because of the design of this part we should combine together the tracks together with the drivetrain bogies. The same basically is repeated twice because we have to do it for both sides and then it will be the uh, stage of assembling the main hull and as you can see because we do not have any interior we have here this panel included which is actually uh, will be supporting this superstructure and I can see I didn't notice it in the review to be honest but there should be also some drillings done I guess in order to install some external elements and by the way those are two machine guns which uh, I would say distinct feature of this today's version or box and here you can see the superstructure being installed into this support panel and then we go on with other components being connected together but this is something what we will talk later first we start with this step
So here you can see the final result of this build. The model is assembled and weathered. And for weathering, I was using the special pigment from Amamik. So this is the so-called white dust. And here you can see it. It's quite nice because you can apply it not only on the tracks, but also on the hull. And as you can see, you get this uh, slightly weathered dust duke. I did not try to achieve the heavily weathered duke, so that's why it is replicated like that here. And overall, I like what was, uh, let's say, the final result here. So as you can see, the fitment overall is really good. There is nothing to be complaining about. And it's also cool that there are some P parts included, so if I place it like this here you can see this uh, you know, let's say vehicle from the side of course i also applied the dark washes in order to accentuate all of the surface details there are also some tiny p parts you will see them also later after this uh, let's say final report in the special uh, video cut but overall i really like what is uh, let's say copied here out of the box i can see that here the handle is slightly bent to the side I will have to fix it a bit but overall it looks really good there was if camera will focus now let me fix it a bit so if camera will focus now I can show you also here we have the small uh, issue with the fitment you can see there is a uh, gap between the superstructure and the rear engine cover I'm not sure why it is uh, like that because I was trying to fit it as, let's say, tight as it is possible, but due to the design of the parts, it's not getting together, but it's also not visible. So if you know more about this vehicle, feel free to write in the comment section if it should be like this, because I'm not sure, to be honest. And here from the rear, you can see that we also have really good features copied in this scale. Decals were really interesting to apply because, uh, well, I was afraid that it will be exactly the same experience as I would uh, had with the Tamiya kits, but here we have completely different quality, which is easier to work and also easier to apply. So the final result does not look like a decal. We don't see the carrier film and maybe I'll try to focus the camera so that you can see what I'm talking about. And overall, I really like how the parts going together. I also think that there is a let's say minor space for some improvement. Maybe a manufacturer can also implement the interior because all of these hatches are molded separately so you can open them on your model. The only thing you are missing is the <laughs> interior. And also this white circle I would rather recommend to replicate it with the paint because with the decal it will be really tricky to replicate it on those rice surfaces. I decided not to risk it and paint it freehand because it was usually applied in the field conditions as I said before. But overall this kit is absolutely recommended for modelers who would like to do a small build, who would like to copy this vehicle. And as far as I know there are not that many alternatives on the market so that's quite a good choice for reasonable price and definitely take a look. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video review as usual, thank you for joining me today. And bye. Here you can see the fixed P handle, so now you will get what I was talking about, and now we can watch the video, the final video with this model.